We now shift focus to Xi Jinping's no limits partner, Vladimir Putin. But how often have we seen his authority challenged? From an international call for Putin's arrest in 123 countries to an attempted armed mutiny against Moscow by one of Putin's most trusted men to finally a grand hero's welcome in the Gulf. It all happened in 2023. Here's a timeline which at least Vladimir Putin will never forget. Take a look. Seeing Joe Biden standing on Ukrainian soil on the first anniversary of the Russia-Ukraine war in February, There was no doubt that it was a clear message to Vladimir Putin of what he's up against. Soon began a series of events this year which had the potential to shake Russia to its core. As a court of law, the judges issued arrest. On March 17th, an arrest warrant was issued against Putin by the International Criminal Court. Putin's arrest was mandated for committing war crimes in Ukraine. He was held responsible for unlawfully deporting and transferring children from Ukraine into Russia. The warrant implies that Putin will be arrested if he steps foot in any of the 123 member nations of the ICC, which includes South Africa forcing Putin to give the BRICS summit a miss this year. It marks the first time that the ICC issued an arrest warrant against one of the five permanent members of the UN Security Council. On May 20th, the Wagner mercenary group that fought for Putin in Ukraine announced the capture of the embattled Ukrainian city of Bakhmut. This was a big game for Putin as it came after months of intense fighting and gave Russia direct access of two more cities of Kramatorsk and Slovyansk. But Bakhmut came at a cost as the Wagner mercenaries soon turned hostile against Moscow. On June 23rd, Yevgeny Prigozhin, the former head of the Wagner mercenary group and one of Putin's most trusted men, released a video stepping up his feud with Russia's military top brass. He called out the leaders for not providing Wagner fighters with the necessary aid they needed to fight in Ukraine and also rejected Putin's justification of invading Ukraine. Soon after this video and the following day, on June 24th, Russia was nearly shaken to its core. Prigozhin released visuals of his men crossing the border from Ukraine into Russia, mentioning how they were ready to go all the way against the Russian military. Wagner fighters entered the southern Russian city of Rostovondon, taking control of the city and key military installations, including a crucial aerodrome used by Russian forces to mount attacks on Ukraine. Matters soon simmered as Russia dodged a massive civil war. The truce was brokered on the very same day and soon the Wagner mercenary chief, Yevgeny Prigozhin, was directed to Belarus under a deal brokered by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko to end the armed mutiny which aimed at taking over Moscow. While it seemed that the Wagner and Prigozhin conundrum had been settled once and for all, there was more. On August 23rd, a private jet carrying Yevgeny Prigozhin and nine senior Wagner commanders crashed north of Moscow with no survivors. Both Moscow and Washington suggested foul play, while the Kremlin considered the possibility of an assassination event. While a US intelligence assessment concluded that an intentional explosion caused the plane crash, Moscow rubbished all claims denying any involvement in the crash. Post-August 2023 got better for Vladimir Putin. While the much-anticipated Ukrainian counter-offensive was deemed a failure, reports also emerged of an accelerated Russian industrial production index by 2%, with Russia pledging a boost to its defence budget by 70%. In October, Putin was ceremoniously welcomed by China to attend the third Belt and Road Forum. The visit underscored Russia and China's no-limits partnership. The Russian President Vladimir Putin received a hero's welcome as he visited West Asia. It was a one-day lightning tour to the UAE and Saudi Arabia. While Putin's bonhomie with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was evident from their body language in UAE, 
Putin was welcomed with a 21-gun salute and a flyby of UAE fighter jets trailing smoke in the colors of the Russian national flag. Putin's ceremonious welcomes in West Asia were not missed on the West, setting the stage for 2024 as Russia stands firm in the ongoing Ukraine war. While Joe Biden struggles to provide further funds for Ukraine's war effort.